Oh, sir, reads a lot. Well, hiya, Dr. G. Well, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, well, great. You know, we just uh, just had Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. sure that that was a big uh, big deal around the Reads A Lot house. Oh, of course. I love making Valentines. Well, I bet. I think we all like to do that. We like to get them. We like to give them. So tell me, you know, did you get or, or give any Valentines? I didn't get too many, but I made some for all of my horses. Oh, that's nice. So how did, uh, how did y'all, all your horses receive those? Well, let's just say by the end of the day, there were paper shreds everywhere. Well, it sounds like they really like those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anybody, anybody else you give one to? Well, I gave one to Sir Lancelot, too. Oh, your, your friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that one like? Well, when he opens it, he's going to get a face full of glitter. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a proper Valentine, but, uh, well, good for you. I'm sure he'll receive that well. <laughs> well, you know what? I have got a special guest for us today. Really? Who is it? Yeah, I've got Claire Conaway from the high school. Claire, come join us. Hi. Hi, Claire. What do you do at the high school? Um, I play soccer. I'm in track, and I'm in the STEM club, and I do FCCLA. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, she's very involved. Even just recently, Claire and some of the other STEM club uh, students presented at the Board of Education meeting. They have a great project that they're going to do. What's the project? We're hoping to build a pollinator garden on the school grounds to have the bees and butterflies come to our school. Oh, well, that's sweet. Yeah, it sounds like a great project. We're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So, Claire, tell us, what book do you have for us today? Today I'm reading Clark the Shark. Wow, he looks so nice. Well, let's, uh, let's enjoy Clark the Shark and, and that reading of that. Today I'm reading Clark the Shark, written by Bruce Hale. In all the wide blue seas and all the wide blue world, the top school for fish was Theodore Rosterfish Elementary. And all the fish at Theodore Rosterfish, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Wow. Shark loved school. Clark loved school, and he loved his teacher, Miss Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. Those sound like fun games. School is awesome, shouted Clark the Shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Miss Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, yelled Clark the Shark. You are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. He's too wild. Yes, Clark loved his life with all loved his life with all his sharky heart, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild. He was just too shark for the other fish to handle. Well, after a while, no one played with Clark. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend, Joey Mackerel, said, Cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. Aw, poor Clark. One day Clark asked Miss Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Miss Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You munch too hard, and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and place for everything, said Miss Inky Dink, and sometimes the role is stay is to stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good look got him all shook up. Now, Clark said Miss Inky Dink, this isn't the time or place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. Let's hope it works. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked. Attaboy, Clark, said Miss Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned. Grinned. Lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, Edie's a, Edie's a, ew, easy does it, that's the way. 
Then my friends will tell, will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. Yay! But then a shadow fell across the playground. A ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. Oh, it's no. a new kid, and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives. The squid squished the slide and snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark. He just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he ever had before. Upsy downsy and spin ma jig. Uh, why he even made up a new game, tail Wumpa Lumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly. And he sat down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Miss Inky Dink. And thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sk Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. That's right, Clark's mother asked. Uh, what did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and place for everything, said Clark. Sometimes you stay cool. But sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. The end. Hooray for Clark the Shark. Anyway, that was a fantastic story, Claire. Any, I'll see you next time, guys. And remember, it's Lancer time. <laughs>